Well, hello, Internet. I thought I'd tell you all a story about my... my journey with gas. Gear acquisition syndrome. Yes, it's a real thing, and I had it bad, folks. It's real. You don't want it. Um... Yeah, it got to the point where, where you know, I, I was looked in the mirror and I was, who in their right mind needs fifty freaking cameras, three four hundred lenses, boxes and crates and drawers full of photography gadgets and trinkets and doodads and yeah, it got bad. Don't get me wrong, I love trying new cameras, love trying new lenses, but. I mean, it, it was it, it it was pretty ridiculous. I mean, it's it's embarrassing even talking about it, but it happened. Um, yeah, it got to the point where, I mean, I love photography. I mean, photography is like like my therapy. But back then, I needed therapy for my therapy, and then I seen how much a psychiatrist costs, and I was like, holy. That's more expensive than my gas problem. So it was about then, you know, I was I was a Canon fanboy then, you know. Canon would come out with a new camera. They'd come out with a new lens. I'd buy it. New camera, I'd buy it. New, I mean, I had all the camera, Canon cameras. I mean, it, it was like, I, I didn't even know what I had. <laughs> it was pretty ridiculous. You know how you know what shifted me though and woke me up, got got my mind looking in a different direction and got me away from that compulsive buying and you know, basically a financial disaster. It was Canon cameras. Because it was it was back then when they came out with the RF mount. You know, and I was like kind of watching what they were doing with that mount. And then they came out with the R five and you know, that camera was five grand. Then they came out with that 24 to 70, 2.8. You know, that, that L lens, you know, it was this big, you know, that big around 10 pounds, three grand. Then they came out with this 70 to 200 that was this big, that big around 20 pounds. And what, what was it, like $3,800? I was like, hell no, I ain't going that way. I was like, bye-bye, Canon. <laughs> It was that was about the time our Pentax came out with that K one, you know, and I had all these old vintage lenses and you know, and it was you know, one you know, less than half the cost of the R five and I bought that and I immediately fell in love with it and I was like I'm going that way. And and I also got in my mind, you know, I'm I've got to future proof myself. I got to get rid of this compulsive bind. I got to just, I wanted to get smaller systems and I started waking up, you know, it was like, I'm going to future proof myself because that was about the time also when it didn't matter what brand you bought. Every camera was good. I mean, that the technology was hitting its peak tapping out i mean all this all the new stuff gadgets and features they were putting in these cameras they were just i mean what what do you really need a camera that cooks you dinner and takes your garbage out for you i mean every camera was just uh that's when i realized future proof yourself so the last four or five years that's exactly what i did was i mean i relapse every now and then I mean, I just bought a microphone. <laughs> I mean, it's. I mean, it's not no twenty five hundred dollar Hollywood, you know, studio mic. It's just a another cheapy, but uh, I'm still dialing it in. I hope this sounds okay. But I mean, it's. I've been future proof myself. You know, I knew I, I knew what I wanted and knew what I needed for my bird photography. I knew what I needed for my landscape photography. Then I needed a small travel kit. And I, I knew it was like, buy good stuff. 
by once or go home. I mean, that's, that's basically what I, you know, finalize the deal. That's basically the way my mind was thinking. Either finalize it or go home and just give it up. So that's what I did. And I, I'm like, I'm to the point right now, I do not even have any desire to buy a new camera or lens. I've got, I mean, I made some major investments in the last four or five years, and the stuff I have is good enough. I'm happy with it. I loved shooting with it. I mean, I, I mean, it's just, I think I'm cured. I mean, I have these little relapses, you know, I'll buy a microphone every now and then, or, you know, the smaller stuff, but my main camera gear, I'm future-proofed, unless I drop it and break it, you know, but, I mean, some of the, some of the stuff I have, I could eat probably, as long as it don't hit cement, I mean, it'll hit the ground, and it'll be all right, I mean, that's my advice, folks, don't fall into the trap into the financial disaster of gear acquisition syndrome. Get some good stuff. Buy, get what you can afford. Get good stuff. Get stuff you know you like. Take it out and shoot with it and have fun. Enjoy it. Don't worry about all the new stuff coming out. I mean, it's all the same. It really is. It's all the same stuff. Future-proof yourself. Use the stuff. Enjoy it. That's pretty much all I got to say about that. Talk to you later. Bye.